Hey guys, good morning. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So today I'm headed to a photo shoot in the city in literally two hours. I thought I'd film this video, show you guys how I get ready how I, and how I prep for a, you know, like a self lifestyle type of shoot. The city looks are not complete yet. I literally decided to do this shoot yesterday, so I'm not really prepared, but I thought I'm not gonna buy anything new. I'm gonna pull things from my own wardrobe and see what I can come up with. My throat's a little scratchy, so this is going to help. But yeah, let's just jump right into getting ready, then we can just talk about other things. Okay, so let's start off with hair. I'm just going to put my unit on and basically go from there. While that's going on, let's just get into skin. We're going to use my sunscreen. Um, regular skincare applies. My skin's looking really good right now. Um, it hasn't been for a couple weeks and I was a little bit sad about it. Now let's get into the makeup. For photo shoot days, I really recommend sticking to your good old faithful makeup routine. Don't try anything new. Don't try to mix anything up. Stick to your routine, your good old faithful. Um, but I actually got some new things from Sephora that I'm going to try out. So Don't do what I'm doing. Just do what I say. I went in with my Patrick Ta Brow Lamination Gel. I'm just going to comb my brow hairs up at least. Letting that dry a little bit. I'm actually going to do my brows off camera only because I'm like stressing out right now. So let me just do my brows off camera and I'll come back. wanted to pop in and say I absolutely hate my makeup this is the worst makeup I've ever done in my life um, I hate it so much but um, I need to be at the shoot location in one hour and I don't even know what looks I'm supposed to be wearing because I literally just have a pile of clothes in front of me I'm pretty sure something needs to be ironed especially because of how I left everything so I'm a little bit stressed out don't know what I'm gonna do but you know we're not gonna worry about it Thank God for setting spray because Octavia cannot do her makeup. And setting spray is the only thing that saves me. But yeah, let me go get ready and try on some outfits and I'll come back, you guys. This is one of my looks that I was unsure about. Um, it's just this really chunky knit sweater um, with um, thigh high boots. Um, I do wish the skirt was longer so you guys can see it under the, the knit, but um, also I could cinch the waist of my sweater, but I do think it just looks better um, chunky like this. Bag, TBD, but let's try to figure out something really quickly. Do like this little crossbody bag from Polen. Can also wear my Polen hat for this day, for this look. Um, I think it's very. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Obviously, gonna take my hair out, but like, I mean, this this can be a vibe. Um, this actually could be a vibe. Ah! I don't know what bag to take. I don't know. I really do not know what bag to take. But I'm going to do this one just because it's more basic. And um, I'm going to take the hat off for two seconds. Because maybe this is just a sunglasses look. No. Alright. So we have the second outfit. 
ready to go. So this was the last minute decision and I'm very pleased about it. So yeah, let's get the other outfit on. For every winter shoot I do, I do love an all white moment. Like an all white kind of like clean cut, very cute look. Only thing is this time around my white boots did not arrive in time so I don't have anything white to wear my feet like white boots but I do have sneakers <laughs> I do have like white um, white what do you call it white sneakers so yeah so I do have this look with this coat I did a similar look last year but this is a look that I actually really do love it's really really just nice and elegant classy whatever you want to call it i really do love it i kind of want to say i want to wear my yeezys but i also just don't know if this is gonna look like too sporty and this is gonna be the last look that i put on only because it's the the one that i don't really care the most about and it's always so so funny the the look that i'm the least like confident in or care about is always the one that looks the best in the photo also just don't know if I like this coat in particular or if I like this one. I'm also getting a lot of calls and messages. I don't know if it's Martha texting me to notify me that she's gonna be late. I hope so. <laughs> I hope that's what she's saying. And not like, hey girl, can we meet sooner? Because absolutely not. Okay, okay. I think I might wear this coat instead. It's more of a oatmeal a oatmeal type of color. Um, it's an oatmeal-y kind of coat. Oh, I feel like I do need to iron it, but you can't iron coats, right? It needs to be dry cleaned. So. And once again, I've proven to myself that I work best under pressure. I will say, I put these looks together just from like picking clothes from a pile of clothes. Like if you guys saw my apartment, you'd scream and be like, Octavia, what is going on with you? This is not you. Yeah, I know. Anyways, the hero of this outfit is this coat by Karen Millen. This coat is so bossy, so hot, so everything. I'm obsessed with it. So I do want to just take a photo in it and thank Karen Millen's team for like sending this over for me. Um, so I do want to just feature this coat for sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep this look as clean and basic as possible. Literally gonna be wearing what you see me in right now. Um, I do have my Celine sunglasses um, in case Martha wants to get some detail shots. But for the most part, um, this look is going to be what you see here. Oh, and another hero of this shoot or of this outfit is going to be my Michael Kors boots, which I really do want to get a nice little sh close up shot of because these boots have really just come through for me this winter season. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the outfits. Whoa, <laughs> I have my curling iron right there and I just threw the bad one on top of it. I'm going to be bringing my base bag into the city. This is what I love too. Um, carry my stuff in so I'm gonna just pack the bag right now so I'm just gonna put my Yeezys in, in here Yeezys are gonna come and the final shoe that I'm wearing is my um, my thigh highs from Stuart Weitzman so this is just gonna get packed up and they should fit in here nicely so I'm gonna pack it in order of how things are gonna be worn. So this is gonna be my last outfit. So I'm gonna put that to the bottom alongside the bag. And in the bag, I have the jewelry and accessories associated with this outfit. Put that in here like that. Second outfit is going to be this leather number. So I'm just gonna put that on top with the skirt, the little tiny bag if I end up using it, and the hat. Have my Celine sunglasses in my pocket in case I wear it. And um, in the side of my base, I'm just gonna put like my wallet, my apartment keys, ear pods, and gum, just for if I need to just, you know, 
just for my own purposes and that's pretty much it for the prep. Hi guys, so I am now home from my shoot. Let me angle you guys a little bit better here. Okay, so I'm now back from my shoot and it went really, really well. Um, I forgot something very important. I forgot the bag, this bag, literally on the counter here. So I did not shoot, I literally just had one bag um, at the shoot place and um, I'm a little bit annoyed by it, but it's already fine. Like, I don't even know how I missed it, but I'm kind of thinking that because the bag looks so similar to the coat, when I grabbed the coat to put it on, I just assumed the bag was there. So yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed because I really wanted to shoot with this bag and kind of like, it looks so good with the outfits. So I'm a little bit annoyed, but I'm home now and I'm wearing my third look. Um, I decided to wear this because all these pieces were extremely chunky and it would have just saved me space. Um, so yeah, now that I'm home, I pretty much just unpack and I'm sure Martha will send me my, um, my photos soon so I can choose the ones that I want and she can edit them. But yeah, I literally had this one bag for all my looks. Well, not all, but this one for all the looks that required a black bag. And I'm a little bit annoyed. Oh, this is so annoying. But that's what I get for rushing. So right now I'm just going to unpack. Oh my goodness, this outfit, the stripe and the skirts looks so good. So, so good. So yeah, I'm just gonna unpack right now. And I'm actually not gonna be with you guys for much longer. I'm going to just maybe do like a, a cut away of me choosing my photos and stuff because I have to run out to an, to an appointment. I'm going to be probably going back to my pixie cut. So I do wanna go to like a hairdresser and have them like wash and deep condition my hair and cut it properly. And also just cut it in a way where when it grows out, it can just, look good but also give me a treat a treatment plan so i can take care of my hair um because i need to do that because i keep cutting my hair off like every year just for me to damage it again and come back to here so i'm going to take off my wig now and basically just get ready to go to the salon my appointment for the haircut is at 1 p.m and it's currently 12 30 so i got home just in time Okay, I'm home and I'm also filming this on my brand new lens. This is the 50 millimeter and I'm obsessed with this lens. It's so beautiful, but yeah, new hair. You know what's funny, you guys? As much as I do love a long hair moment, like nothing hits like a pixie. And I decided to start wearing my pixie like without a part. So like literally just like combed over with like a little like... I don't know, like a little swoop moment here. I just feel like that suits my face so much. But um, yeah, I just feel like it really just shows my face shape, really brings out my beauty, and I just love a shortcut. She's a beaut. I'm happy that I went to the salon that I did, and they did a really great job. Now I'm gonna order like a bunch of stuff for my hair in terms of like, you know, the little plastic, not the plastic, but like the paper wrap thing. I already have my hooded dryer here. Um, I need shears and I need mousse and all of that stuff because literally short hair looks low maintenance. It looks like you just wake up and go, but there's nothing wake up and go about this hairstyle. No. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I am actually heading out of town again. I'm going home for the holidays. I don't know if I told you guys yet or not, but we're going home for the holidays for Thanksgiving. Um, it's going to be like a really quick trip, like two days flying in today, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, then I'm gonna fly back early on Friday. So yeah, like a really quick trip, heading home, very exciting. Um, just getting ready for the airport now, I probably should go. My flight board's in like an hour and I'm still home, but you know, what can I do? I woke up and I had to pack <laughs> and now I'm vlogging. And I shouldn't even be vlogging because I'm supposed to be on a break, but Vlogging is like second nature. It's like one of those things that I've been doing for so long that it's like literally a habit of just like, a sick thing that I do. Um, you might not even see this vlog if I'm being honest, you know. Packing for the airport, I'm debating whether or not I should bring my long chomp bag or I should bring this Palen bag. 
also day two of the short hair what do you guys think surprisingly i've gotten used to it already like i don't even feel anyway like i feel normal um but yeah i'm gonna bring a hat though just in case i feel like i don't know i'm not gonna also curl it it's like pretty flat right now and i'm gonna just leave it flat because it's just a lot more low maintenance this way for now obviously when i start like if i go out and stuff like to somewhere dressier i'll curl it but for day to day it's going to be left straight because we can't but um short hair is just way too much maintenance and i already know so yeah anyways i'm considering bringing my palen bag i feel like it just matches with my overall like outfit a lot better for the airport we're wearing my lululemons lululemons is just the vibe when it comes to airport outfits for me because it's just it just looks nice it looks like i'm trying hard but i'm not so i'm just wearing this white aligned tank top from lululemon I opted, I started buying the longer version instead of the cropped ones. The cropped ones are cute too, but you honestly can just crop the long version if you want, like that. But this is the Lululemon Pink. Love it. Um, if you have bigger boobs, size up. Um, I did size up to a medium, and I still feel like I could should size up some more because. The girls are just sitting way too high. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is the Define the jacket, and I just got the matching. But to be honest, Lululemon's bottoms and tops, although they are the same name, like this, I think this is called Teal something, it's still, this is a little bit cooler, this is a little bit darker, it still does, doesn't really match that great, but it's actually not that noticeable. I'm just like OCD. I'm just really good at like telling that things don't like match. But yeah uh, but i'm thinking of bringing my palette bag like as like my under my seat type of thing or if i should bring my long chomp bag um i am just a long chomp girl i just love my long chomp bags and um i can just the, it, it has a zipper it's secure where this one at any moment it could just topple over but i do think this one looks a lot better um, and I can also just put like my valuables in like the pouch of course and just attach it to the bag just to avoid like you know but like I don't want to have to do that you know in this pouch that's attached to my bag I just have like all my valuable things that I will need on hand also has my keys so I don't lose that because this bag has a tendency of toppling over but at least all my personal stuff will be secured Next up in my travel bag, I like to have a pouch, and this is a base kind of like see-through pouch, as you can see here, and it just has ibuprofen, it has a little touch-up like concealer slash foundation stick from a brand called Merit. I don't really like Merit like makeup for like a full face look, but I do think once your makeup is done and you're out to kind of like touch up your makeup, I really do like their products for that, like if my like any of my blemishes like show through it's really really good you want to like touch up your concealer it's really really good for that because this is the all over stick it can be used as a concealer and as a foundation so i do like that and um i just have like a oh my god it's you it's a anti-perspirant like sweat like wipe you know just in case your deodorant fails you <laughs> that's good and finally just some hand cream and this is from aloe yoga i'm just gonna put this in here next up i have the book that i'm currently reading it ends with us honestly this book is so good so far and i'm only like maybe like three chapters in i could have finished this book in one day if i really wanted to but i didn't want to because i wanted to like read this while i was away so i just wanted to savor every moment you know um next up i'm just just gonna put like some gum in here i'm gonna be wearing the matcha 26 perfume today it's the only perfume that I can tolerate right now. Um, I'm just like not in the mood for like any like strong scents. Yeah, I'm just loving this one. It's Cause it just smells like very light and just airy. So I do love it. That's pretty much good for now, I think. Um, oh, one thing about the palette bag, the bag on its own is pretty heavy. So when you add anything to it, it just gets heavier. Um, I kind of feel like I want to switch over to this bag, but let me put everything in it and see how it fits. I also have a bag shaper in here. I think I'm going to bring my long shot bag. I already knew this was going to happen. I'm just very attached to these bags and they're just the most functional bags in the 
world. Anyways, I'm just gonna finish packing my suitcase and then I'm going to head out. My little camera, there's something wrong with it, so I can't even like bring you guys. So I'm gonna just do some vlogging on my phone while I'm away. But for the most part, that's what we have going on. But yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Anyways, today is Friday. I am back home. Um, I just got groceries to just start off the week. Um, just a bunch of little things here and there. But I got some basil, got some cranberry juice, um, you know, fruit, um, some peppers, tons of watermelon. I got two things. Well, I actually got four, but I already ate two because I'm obsessed with watermelon. But yeah, I got some peppers. Um, I'm going to be making like a really nice pasta today. Um, pears. Um, the one downside about living so far away from family is that I couldn't bring home a lot of leftovers because I didn't want to go through TSA with the whole about question questions. And um, the only thing I did bring back though, let me show you. Black cake. It's jet black, so it's hard to like see, but it's like a rum cake, and I literally cannot get enough. I literally just go in with a spoon, just like this, and just eat it. Mmm. My goodness. So good. Delicious. Also, my suitcase is still on the floor. Don't mind that. It's time to make dinner. I'm gonna be making the pasta here. Um, it's the organic tagliatelle. Um, we're gonna do a meat sauce. So, excuse her. We're gonna do a meat sauce. We're gonna use tomato, basil, um, my pepper, my peppers. Here you go. And we're gonna use some ground beef. Peppers are washed. You can use as much pepper as you want. Some people like their bolognese sauce to be pretty meaty, not a lot of peppers. If that's you, do that. If you don't mind a lot of peppers in it, use as much as you want. I've just chopped up my peppers and that's what we're working with. And um, a rough chop is totally fine. Like I could could have done this a lot smaller, but it's really not necessary. Now we're gonna take an onion and we're just going to chop her up, same way. I'm gonna take a little bit, peel, peel, peel. Again, a nice rough chop is fine. I'm also not opposed to a couple tomatoes in my pasta, although I'm already using tomato sauce. But this is just going to add a little extra thickness to it. Basil. I love the flavor of basil. I'm actually obsessed with it. Here we have our meat. Um, it's literally just ground beef. That's what it looks like. Nothing crazy here. Now we're gonna transfer things over to my other pot. We're gonna pour this in here. Sorry, you guys can't see, but. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of red wine. This is a Cab Sav, which is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, I'm gonna add this to the meat area, to the meat sauce, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna do like a pretty good amount. I do love the flavor that it gives. And then we're going to add the tomato basil pasta sauce. Ugh. 
Wow, I'm so proud of myself. The first try never happens. Okay, let me just pour my tomato sauce in here. We're gonna be pretty generous because we it's gonna just cook in there for a long time. And also add some sugar to cut the acidity. acidity. <laughs> Um, just a little bit of sugar. I do like a little bit of sweetness to my pasta, not gonna lie. And then once it's almost finished, I'm gonna add a little bit of heavy cream, just to kind of give it that creamy taste, but it's going to be simmering for quite a long time. This is the consistency we're working with right now, but as it comes to, as it's finished, it's going to like thicken up and everything, so don't worry. Alright guys, as you saw, I just unboxed a few things from Amazon and stuff like that. So let me show you guys what I got before I forget. So first up, I got a new deodorant. This is by Secret. It's the Clean Lavender. Yeah, I wanted to try this because I feel like my deodorant lately has been failing me, so it had to go. This, this is going to be a one inch curling iron for my pixie cut. I do want to like try, I mean I know how to do my hair at home, so instead of going to the salon all the time, I just want to like just have all the necessary tools, especially you know tools for like everyday styling, so I do have this one inch um, type of curling iron or styling thing. My hair isn't this short to like use this, I could use a regular size, but for the back and like the edges this would be nice. I got a couple like shirts from Hanes. I love these little basics from Amazon. I'm gonna link it in my Amazon storefront. This is what I love to wear at home, especially when I'm chilling with, you know. <laughs> I like to just wear these like t-shirts. I just love these for the winter time. It's also black, so it's just these Hanes. And I like to wear them with these like booty shorts look looking things. I love these so much. They're just very flattering on the body, so I just like to wear these. I just got two more because I was long overdue for like extras. They're also nice to sleep sleep in also. These next bits are from Desi. Desi just launched some new sunglasses, so I was all over that because you know they are my go-to sunglasses brand. I did go with like different frames this time around. I want it to be a little bit, what do you call it, adventurous. Um, let me open this really quick. So I don't know the name, actually the name the ring on the inside. So this is the book and it's in this beautiful brown color. I've always wanted a, a brown pair of sunglasses. The other sunglasses I got were this one, were these. Let me see what this one's called. They have like very cool names. So I love like just knowing the names of them. Okay, this one is called, hmm, this one is called Corona, interesting. And again, it's a more like skinny or dainty pair of sunglasses. Um, so it looks like this, it's just a pretty standard black pair. It's literally very basic, but I do know that, you know, with the right outfit, these sunglasses are gonna look so good. Um, she also was selling this thing. It's basically like a giant sunglass case, which I felt like I really needed to store my sunglasses. Cause if you ask me where my sunnies are stored right now, they're stored all over the place. So I really wanted to get this so I can like, just put my sunglasses in them like so, so I can kind of like have an idea of everything that I own. So I'm gonna like stack this with my most worn pairs of sunglasses shortly. Also for my hair, I got this like satin wrap. It's one that goes around the perimeter so I can like make sure the back stays flat. Got this, which is essential when you have a pixie cut. It's helped to like 
help your hair dry under the dryer. I'm also gonna be doing my hair tonight, so you'll see. And finally, why do I keep saying finally? We're not done. <laughs> um, I also got a pair of Ugg boots, my brown pair. Let me show you my brown pair, you guys. They have lasted me probably three years now. They have they have gone through it. They still look really nice. I'm not gonna lie. They still look really nice, but the top is a little bit beat up. So I wanted another a new pair of Uggs for like errand days and stuff like that. And I also really wanted the chestnut color because I feel like this is like the classic Ugg shade. Oh my goodness. Not me saying finally again. Anyways, I got this gifted from Kuyana. It's a literally a tote bag. I got this for my mom for Christmas as one of her Christmas gifts. She loves the color, she loves the color green. It's actually green, it's just not really showing up, but it's a green bag. And I thought this would be a perfect tote for her to carry to work. It's massive, it's huge. So I'm gonna put this under the tree for her, of course. I got some like hardcover L books. Um, I really wanted to support Viola Davis on her L cover, you know, support our own people. So I got all of her, all of her covers. So I got this one. I got this one, I got, I think I have four in total, yeah, I, I got this one, and I got this one, and I love that all of these are like a different like vibe and aesthetic, so if I ever wanted to like switch up my aesthetic, I could most certainly do so. They all have a different vibe going for them, so. I was really excited about that. And just for reference, this is um, El Brazil. I got it for a really great price. They were so inexpensive. However, it took like a month and a half to come. I think I ordered these damn near that long ago. And it just are each. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that to be honest. With you. I am actually obsessed with the Shivani oat milk and the extra creamy. Oh, so good. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'm just so grateful and thankful for the support that you guys have just shown me over the years. And um, just thank you for your patience and respecting the fact that I, I do want a little bit of like, you know, just need like a little bit of break. I feel like I've been on go like for two years now nonstop. And um, yeah, big changes are happening in my life each and every day. And it's just hard to like, go through those changes and also like be present especially in the social media world also so i'm just trying to like get a find a healthy balance between the two but yeah until next time i will see you guys soon